Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to compare Elementor, Beaver Builder and Gutenberg. I'll compare their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, performance and more. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which platform is the right choice for building your next website. First off, let's get a quick overview of these platforms. Elementor is probably the most well-known page builder for WordPress. It's a drag and drop editor with tons of design flexibility templates and advanced features. It's perfect for both beginners and pros who want full control over how their site looks without having to code. Beaver Builder is another front-end visual builder that's been around for a while. It's known for its stability, clean code output and developer-friendly features. It may not be as flashy as Elemental, but it shines when it comes to performance and long-term reliability. Gutenberg, on the other hand, is WordPress's native block editor. It's built right into WordPress itself and has been getting major updates every year. In 2025, it's finally reached a level where it's competing seriously with third-party builders. It's clean, lightweight, and integrates deeply into the WordPress core, which is great for speed and compatibility. Now, let's discuss features. This is where the big differences start to show. Elementor is loaded with design features. You get a true drag-and-drop interface, hundreds of widgets, responsive editing, animations, custom CSS, global styling, and theme building tools. In 2025, they've also added AI-powered layout suggestions and a brand new Flexbox container system that drastically improves performance and design control. Beaver Builder keeps things a bit simpler, but it's still powerful. It offers a full drag and drop interface with modules for text, images, sliders, contact forms, and more. What makes Beaver stand out is its clean HTML output and developer hooks. They've also introduced Beaver Thema, which lets you build custom headers, footers, and archive layouts. It's a bit more technical than Elementor, but for developers, it's gold. Gutenberg has come a long way. It now includes reusable blocks, block patterns, full site editing, FSE, and built-in responsive controls. With the site editor, you can now change headers, footers, templates, and styling from a single dashboard. The 2025 update added new block types, improved layout controls, and tighter integration with theme.json, giving you centralized control over styling. Next up, let's dive into user experience. Elementor is designed to be user-friendly from the start. You drag widgets from the sidebar, drop them onto your canvas, and customize everything in real time. It's super visual, so what you see is what you get. Even beginners can build gorgeous sites in hours. Beaver Builder is also easy to use, but it's more subtle. The interface is clean, less flashy, and doesn't overwhelm you with unnecessary features. It feels more professional in a way, less shiny, but more stable. It may take a little longer to get used to than Elementor, but once you do, it's very reliable and consistent. Gutenberg feels native because it is. The editing experience is fast and lightweight, but it's not as visual as Elementor or Beaver Builder. Blocks are placed in vertical sequences, and while you can preview your changes, the editing canvas feels more structured than freefall. Still, with new UI updates and better block controls in 2025, it feels smoother and easier to use. Now, let's talk about something super important, performance. Elementor has always been great at design, but in the past, it wasn't the fastest option. However, in 2025, the new Flexbox containers and performance optimization engine have helped reduce bloat significantly. Sites now load faster, especially when you avoid stacking too many widgets or effects. Beaver Builder has always had the upper hand in performance. It produces cleaner code, fewer inline styles, and generally lighter pages. If page speed is your top priority, Beaver is a great choice, especially when paired with a well-coded theme like Generate Press or Astra. Gutenberg is the fastest of the three because it's part of the WordPress core. There's no extra plugin layer and no fancy script loading in the background. If your goal is a lean, fast-loading website with fewer dependencies, Gutenberg takes the lead. And with theme.json support, even design consistency is now easier to manage. When it comes to integrations, Elementor leads the way. Elementor works with just about everything. WooCommerce, MailChimp, 
HubSpot, LearnDash, MemberPress, and even third-party tools like Zapier. The plugin ecosystem around Elementor is huge, with dozens of add-ons like Essential Add-ons, CrocoBlock, and PowerPack that add even more widgets and templates. Beaver Builder is a bit more limited out of the box, but it's built with developers in mind. It integrates well with WooCommerce, easy digital downloads, and most CRMs when used with custom forms or third-party add-ons. It also plays nicely with custom post types and ACF, which developers love. Gutenberg, being part of WordPress, works with everything that supports the block editor. Most modern plugins are now block ready. WooCommerce, Yoast, and even email opt-in tools like MailPoet have native blocks. You can also install block libraries like Stackable, Cadence Blocks, or Generate Blocks to expand what Gutenberg can do. All right, now let's discuss the pricing. Elementor has four paid plans to fit different needs. First, the light plan is $2.99 a month, billed annually at $36 a year. It's perfect if you just need basic tools for one site using the core builder. The basic plan costs $9.99 a month or $120 a year. It's the most popular option and gives you the pro builder with all the essential features for one site. Then the business plan takes things up a notch at $19.99 a month or $240 a year. It's great if you want advanced tools just for one site. Finally, the grow plan costs $22.99 a month, billed annually at $276. It's ideal if you manage up to three sites and need the advanced pro builder. On the other hand, Beaver Builder keeps things simple with three easy yearly plans based on how many sites you need. The starter plan costs $72 per year and works great if you're just using it for one site. If you're managing multiple projects, the professional plan is perfect. It covers up to 50 sites and costs $240 per year. And for agencies or bigger teams who need to use it on unlimited sites, the unlimited plan is available for $437 a year. Each plan gives full access to all the page builder features, making it a a solid choice for developers and agencies who want flexibility and control. Gutenberg is completely free. Since it's built into WordPress, you don't pay anything extra to use it. However, you may end up purchasing premium block libraries or a theme that enhances the block experience. Even then, it's still the most budget-friendly option of the three. Now, let's take a look at the support and the communities behind these platforms. Elementor has a massive user base and tons of tutorials on YouTube. Their knowledge base is helpful and the support team is responsive for pro users. In 2025, they've added live chat support for faster resolution and they also run frequent webinars and summits. Beaver Builder has a smaller but very loyal community. Their support team is known for being friendly and developer focused. Gutenberg is supported by the entire WordPress ecosystem. You won't find a single company behind it, but instead thousands of contributors. Help is available through the WordPress forums, GitHub and block specific communities. It's a bit more decentralized, but the support is there if you know where to look. So. Which website builder should you go with in 2025? If you want total design freedom, hundreds of templates and advanced features, all in a visual, easy to use package, Elementor is the way to go. It's great for designers, marketers, and freelancers who want to build stunning websites without touching code. If you're a developer or someone who prioritizes performance and clean code, Beaver Builder is a fantastic option. It's stable, reliable, and perfect for building long-term client sites that don't break after every update. And if you want something free, fast, and future-proof, Gutenberg is a solid choice. It's already part of WordPress and keeps getting better every year. With the right theme and block add-ons, you can build professional sites without needing a third-party builder at all. All right, that's it for today's comparison. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.